this is Matthew Robert Payne and this is a prophecy for Toriana and uh, to start the prophecy I'll just uh, start with a word of prayer so dear father I pray that uh, you give me the words to say to Toriana the words that will encourage her inspire lift her and move her on towards her purpose in God amen uh, Toriana, I see um, a tree, and uh, it's it's an oak tree. It's uh, one of those trees that have got uh, amazing um, branches and amazing roots. Uh, it's got a really strong, uh, you know, um, uh, what stalk to it? Not a stalk, but. Um, foundation, uh, what, what do they call that, um, the uh, round part of the tree that goes up, um, I can't think of the name, um, it's really strong, it's got a lot of roots and uh, it's very fruitful, there's birds playing in the trees, uh, in the tree, um, it, it mentions, um, um, mentions uh, a tree like this in Psalm 1 um, it says uh, uh, Psalm 1 verse 3 they will be like trees planted along the river bank bearing its fruit in season that leaves never wither and they prosper in all they do uh, I feel that you're this tree you're this tree of righteousness that um, You've got branches that uh, help people. Uh, you've got um, uh, foundation. You've got strong. Uh, you've got strong foundation. Uh, you've got uh, uh, many roots. And uh, I'm just looking up another verse. Uh, I wasn't. Um, um, Jeremiah 17 verse 7 said, But blessed are those who trust in the Lord and have made the Lord their hope and confidence. They are like trees planted along the river bank with roots that reach deep into the water. Such trees are not bothered by the heat or worried by long months of drought. Their leaves stay green and they never stop producing fruit. I feel that you are... are have got uh, tremendous roots in Jesus. You've got tremendous roots in the Holy Spirit. Uh, the Holy Spirit is this river that flows past you. Your roots go down into the Holy Spirit and suck up life and suck up the sustenance of the Holy Spirit. You move really well with the Holy Spirit. You've got a uh, tremendous depth of relationship with the Holy Spirit. Um, not only have you got tremendous depth of relationship with the Holy Spirit, You've got this uh, great relationship with Jesus and God the Father. Uh, you know the whole Trinity. Um, you know uh, the Holy Spirit. You know Jesus and you know the Father. You know there's three different voices. You know how they each speak to you. Very grounded. Your roots uh, go down in uh, very grounded uh, faith. Uh, in, in the Word of God, you, you have got an amazing uh, knowledge of the Word of God and so much of uh, what you believe in and so much of what holds you uh, dear and, and holds you stable is the Word of God. And uh, you, you know how to war with the Word of God when, when circumstances or fears or worries or attacks come you speak the word of God to to the situation and you stand on the word of God and uh, that makes uh, you powerful and that makes uh, you uh, uh, an effective witness, an effective uh, prophet uh, that uh, you've uh, said that you are. I, I feel that uh, the Lord is going to bring a new frequency to you and um, I don't fully understand um, what that is but you can imagine a radio uh, tunes into different frequencies and different stations 
I don't feel that you're going to get a different station uh, of the Lord, the Father speaking, but I feel that different radio stations have different uh, tracks of music and have different music they're playing. I feel that there's a new resonance, a new frequency coming. Uh, the Lord is going to take you to another level, another realm, where the information that you're receiving is of another level. It's of another realm. Uh, so the frequency is going to change. It's still going to be the Father speaking, but he's going to be speaking out of the glory realm, and Jesus and the Holy Spirit are going to be speaking out of the glory realm, and they're going to be showing you, and, and you're going to be experiencing as a seer, uh, you're going to be experiencing supernatural encounters and supernatural information. Um, I feel that uh, the Father has... Um, tried you, uh, you've been tested and tried, you've gone through a tremendous amount of uh, sifting and, uh, and sorting, uh, Satan has really uh, hit you and, and bashed you and, uh, and, and you've weathered these storms, you're like this uh, oak tree standing firm but your, wet, your leaves and your branches have been swayed from side to side and you've been hit and you've been hit and you've been assaulted and assaulted and your faith has just gone deeper and your, your uh, belief in scripture has just got stronger and your relationship with the Holy Spirit has got more effervescent and, and, and more useful and uh, you really... It really would be dangerous for a person not to have the scripture in them that you have and uh, the relationship with the Holy Spirit that you have and the relationship with God and Jesus that you have. If other people were going through the trials that you were going through without that relationship with the Word and relationship with the Trinity, that'd be a mess. Uh, they'd uh, give up on life, they'd probably suicide, uh, and uh, that's not something that's a stranger to you. Uh, you've uh, been through dark moments that I feel that, um, I could be wrong about this, but I feel that you've been through dark moments where um, you uh, have seriously contemplated suicide. Um, the assault against you has been horrendous horrendous and um, because you've been tested and tried because you said to the Lord I'll follow you anywhere I'll do anything for you Lord I lay my life down for you I want to be a living sacrifice because you made these promises to the Lord that you would do anything and go anywhere and be anything and he could test you and, uh, and that you love him uh, with all your devotion and uh, you're never going to leave or forsake him. Because you made these pledges and promises to the Lord, he's going to bring this new frequency to you. He's going to share with you the secrets of the kingdom. And... Um, the thing is about secrets is that you can write these revelations and you can share these revelations with other people, but only a certain number, only a percentage of people will be able to receive these revelations. Uh, a lot of revelations are, are pretty personal uh, things and interactions between us and our God because people simply can't receive it. They just can't. Uh, understand it. I, I had a revelation uh, that was shared with me um, about my relationship with Jesus and I, I must have shared that with 20 or 30 people but hardly anyone understands what the revelation was um, and so I try and explain it to people but they don't seem to understand and uh, this is how it will be with the revelations that you have. They'll take you further They'll take you deeper, they'll take you closer, they'll make you more effective, but they'll give, like the Word of God is uh, your roots and your foundation, they'll give you strong foundation. These supernatural experiences and this uh, information and these secrets that the Lord gives you will give you a better and stronger and more resilient foundation to face what's ahead of you. You've had... Um,
people uh, say to you uh, and prophesy over you big things. Um, I um, there's a few things I see. I, I see, uh, for instance, just for an example, uh, big things that have been prophesied. Uh, maybe I'm repeating for the second time. I see you meeting uh, government officials and, and important government officials and giving uh, them counsel. I see you meeting kings and queens of countries and giving them counsel. I see you. Uh, I see uh, pictures of of you in stadiums preaching uh, to thousands of people. I see uh, books. I see videos. I see. Uh, uh, MP3 downloads, I see uh, packages and products uh, and resources that you can make uh, for people to be blessed with and people to learn. You've got this uh, amazing teaching ability in you. Uh, you've got this uh, uh, great ability to uh, collect information and share information and you'll be uh, a very experienced teacher and many people will learn and, uh, and learn concepts and principles of the kingdom from uh, your books and, and MP3s and YouTube videos that you actually make in the future. Um, perhaps you've even written books already, uh, but um, I know that uh, God doesn't waste his teachers and uh, he has uh, many of them uh, throughout the world and some of them are little like myself, some of them are larger, uh, but God educates his people through teachers and I, I feel that um, you've got a very strong uh, teaching gift in you and uh, God wants to use you and uh, use you effectively uh, to teach people the faith. Uh, so, so many of your stories are encouraging stories. So many of your testimonies are really encouraging and they really reinforce the points that you'd be making and uh, the information that you'd be sharing with people the stories that you can use to illustrate your points and uh, reinforce your points are powerful stories. You've seen a lot. You've seen some stuff that a lot of people don't ever see in spiritual warfare and uh, spiritual attack. And like I said, uh, not many people would have uh, been resilient enough to withstand the assault that you've been through. So I pray that this has given you hope um, understand that, uh, you know, seeing the kings and queens and being before government officials may take some years for that to actually happen, to bring, uh, to build a portfolio, to build a name behind yourself, but doors can be opened just from a friend uh, introducing you to a king, you know, it can come really soon, uh, but some of these things take a while uh, to get the anointing and, and to get... Um, to get the position uh, that's required for you to go forth in those sort of situations. So I pray that uh, you can listen to this word again. Uh, you can uh, write me um, some feedback and encourage me that uh, uh, my prophetic word was uh, correct and uh, edifying to you. God bless.